good day people welcome back to my patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green I'm your host Shaheen in uh, today's video it's going to be lengthy but it's gonna be uh, worth time spending and the reason I'm saying is because I'm going to dig deep uh, not only gold but gold miners as well so our f this focus for this particular uh, analysis or this particular um, video is for gold and gold miners and believe me uh, I've done spent quite a bit of time on researching and uh, have gone uh, spent a lot of time basically uh, I have used a combination of Elliott wave analysis with GAN analysis and traditional technical analysis and something alarming is about to happen in gold and silver uh, but today I'm gonna spend most of the time actually all of the time on gold so if you are interested in gold or gold miners today's video is absolutely crucial for you first of all uh, we need to understand that uh, every single uh, market is following uh, gold miners and gold itself that uh, they are following their own uh, patterns and we need to keep look at them on their own there is increased volatility that's gonna happen in the price of gold uh, by increased volatility means a lot of uh, sharper swings are expected in gold and we are going to discuss that first of all let's have a look on uh, on four hourly time frame the immediate support the immediate swing that I'm expecting is I'm expecting the price to go uh, this way all right and then uh, what is gonna follow is something amazing and this is we are expecting the price to drop down uh, back to 1759 actually this could be a little uh, right over here 1757 uh, the research that I've conducted is indicating that we are probably going to see uh, truncation as compared to this low so it means a higher low is expected around somewhere around 1757 so this is what uh, the uh, the research is indicating on uh, and we have already seen that we have probably seen two bottoms of double bottoms right over here we have seen some reversal and in my previous analysis where I indicated that we are expecting for the price to go around uh, 1778 or somewhere over here and a little beyond about 18 uh, 1785 uh, that top has been revised now and we are expecting the price to actually hit 17 1857 all right and 1856 57 uh, let's say 5650 and then uh, I'm expecting for the price to bounce back so this arrow is actually meaning that we are going to see a uh, lot of strong price movement happening in a shorter period of time uh, I'm expecting maybe next 15 days will be done with this price movement going up and coming down so next 15 trading days should be good enough for the for the market to cover this particular movement as you guys can say this is a lot for uh, next 15 days maybe even less 12 to 15 let's say 12 to 15 trading day uh, this is what I'm expecting to happen in, in gold now we are seeing interesting behavior uh, on uh, <coughs> gold miners this is one of the uh, ETF that we, I'm using to analyze the market It's van Ack gold miners ETFs it's also called GDX as well so it's right over here GDX <coughs> excuse me for that now GDX is also the point here that I want to bring if some of you guys are going to get really uh, frustrated from the drop that I'm expecting and I'm going to give you in a moment the let's look at the reason first of all uh, gold went from uh, it was gold was trading somewhere around 1100 let's have a look actually on a weekly time frame so gold was trading right over here which is uh, around 1200 uh, let's be accurate so 1160 it went from 1160 to 2080 so hardly basically making 100% uh, profit on the basis or you can say it moved 200% uh, 100% from the bottom all right and let then once again let's have a look at the miners now here is the miners at the same time this is uh, GDX and it was trading at 1727 and it went to uh, 45 46 so this is definitely uh, 40 uh, let's say 46 divided by 17 so you can say it actually increased 0.70 more as compared to gold or 0.80 more uh, about 
75% more as compared to the gold itself. And remember, this is the ETF you're talking about. It includes uh, gold miners that are senior and gold miners that are junior. Actually, it does not include the juniors. Th that for GDXJ. So it's, it's a lot of gold uh, miners are included in this one. This only s includes seniors. And we're talking about a basket of different miners and all different miners. Some would be strong, some would be weak. But this this gave us significant gains. And so we are seeing from the pattern that when the price is falling down, uh, we can clearly see in, in, in gold right over here that the support is holding pretty good. And But if you look at the uh, right over here, we can actually uh, draw the chart on the top of it. Let's have a look. And uh, so we can see like over here, the gold itself is holding pretty good in this line. This orange color is gold. and. Uh, every time we see a push down, we are basically seeing a different pattern forming up. So basically, in short, gold the support area is very important for gold, and that's what my analysis is indicating that the support area for gold is going to go uh, is going to go holding, uh, but uh, the uh, ETF itself is going to go down further. Let me delete this. Actually, ignore about this arrow particular. Just ignore it right now. And right now, I'm expecting that. GDX should be bottoming some around 2250. Uh, this is what my research is indicating that. And before it can fall down, definitely it needs to go. Uh, it needs to complete the upward movement. So this is what I'm expecting from uh, from GDX. That in next uh, few days we're going to see the swing upward, which is GDX is trading right 2930 today. So I'm expecting in my previous analysis I gave an, a top me made at 35. No, please be corrected. And now I'm expecting that the top will be made around 33.15. Uh, and definitely we're looking for a sharper swing, which is quite a bit, as com going from 29.30 uh, to 33.30. This is a uh, $4 increase in GDX, and this is quite a bit. And then we are going to see dramatic, what is, this is the most important thing. We're going to see a dramatic fall. We're going to see, look from 35, uh, 33 to all the way to 22. So a drop of 11 points, basically a drop of 33% from the top. And if someone is actually trading gold miners, you're going to be aware of it at least. I'm not asking you to change your position or whatever, but at least be aware of it that this is what you're looking at on GDX. This is not the only pattern I'm looking at it. You can look at the pattern. We can simply consider it as a simple zigzag. And we have uh, X, so W, X, and another zigzag, which is Y. Uh, another X, another we are looking for A, B, and C, another zigzag. So we're looking for triple zigzag from the top. First zigzag, correction, second zigzag, correction, and third zigzag. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the price to bottom somewhere around 2250 area in GDX. And uh, let's have a look at uh, something called uh, Wheaton Precious, uh, Precious Metal. If some of you guys are actually... Uh, trading wheat and precious metal. I was looking into different stocks and I'm uh, decided to, uh, you know, look on these particular two items. Let me have a look. So wheat is also very, uh, very interesting. First of all, we can see we have seen a sharper uh, drop, and then we can see that we have kind of uh, uh, seen a flat correction, which is not completely flat. Uh, it has not bottomed completely. It has. Uh, and so there is a possibility. There is a possibility that could this be a triangle? In this case, we can consider it as wave A, wave B right over here, wave C right over here, wave D right over here, wave E right over here. And I'm expecting th that the price is going to be very interesting. Let me uh, increase the level so we can actually clearly see it. So right now I'm expecting, first of all, give me, let me give you the path of, uh, and then we'll discuss the pattern as well. And I'm expecting that we're going to see something like this right now. That we're going to see something like this, uh, which will give us basically double zigzag. So we have single zigzag correction, another zigzag is expected to form a bottom right over here, a top right over here. And I'm considering this is going to be uh, wave one, and we can consider this as two or B. So this is either A and this is B, and it, or either this is wave one and wave two. In both cases, the uh, the drop down is expected really strong. Uh, so let me see if we can draw a triangle right from over here. And this is, and let me see, and then we can use the same uh, tool to, okay, 
so so now this top is I'm considering that this is going to be wave A, wave B, wave C, wave D and wave E in that case we should be connecting this to this right over here okay so this is recent pression metal as you guys can see that we have uh, seen a converging triangle I'm expecting that the smaller time frame analysis will give us uh, a rise up to create a double top right around it here and after that I'm expecting a fall in uh, wheat and precious metal and I'm expecting 3686 now if the price decide this is gonna be some very interesting if the price falls further below let's say it's trading at 30 uh, 37 dollars and it goes further than two points low right over here at 35 and uh, then we are expecting a further drop and this is gonna be really uh, shocking uh, I'm expecting that in that case we could be actually heading to twelve dollars and I'll give you the fundamental reasons as well comparison reasons as well uh, in that case we are looking for the price this is very very less likely that the return precious metal will fall uh, from this area let's say it's trading at thirty seven dollars and then you see price crossing thirty five dollars thirty four dollars let's make it thirty four dollars if it causes thirty four dollars uh, then the next target is gonna be twelve fifty so this is the next target. It's, good, it's less likely, the more likely target for uh, wheat and precious metal is 3680, uh, 3690. This is the most probably uh, target that I'm giving for. And you can see this is going to be quite a bit. We'll be trading at 53 and all of a sudden in next couple of weeks. I mean, we are expecting next, uh, let's say, four or five days to go for a price up in case a double bottom. And in the next, after that, another about 10 days, 10 days I'm expecting that you should see a dramatic drop in the price of wheat and precious metal and that's let's say if it hits $37 uh, a share then it's quite a bit still dra dropping from 50 uh, 53 to all over 37 that will be a drop of $16 uh, per ounce uh, per share and that's quite a bit so we have seen wheat and precious metal another one that I'm interested in is uh, is called uh, Metella now if they are marketing it quite a bit Mar Mattel is being marketized uh, quite a bit and uh, I, I can see every time uh, here it is so uh, I'm expecting now I'm considering that since it is um, it's not I've seen the market capital for Metella is not as much as Wheaton precious metal if you can look at the and the capital right now is uh, market capitalization is 359 uh, million dollars all right on the other hand if you look at the wheat and precious metals um, let's say that's in billions I think uh, let me that's a quite few billions let me have a look if we can say wheat and precious metal TSX okay and this is TSX I'm I'm in Canada so I'm uh, I'm doing that analysis so 22 billion dollars all right so once it's 22 billion dollars and Metella is actually 300 million dollars quite a difference right so we are gonna see more weakness in Metella that's why uh, every time they're doing they have done nice marketing uh, Metella it's right to you so they have done nice marketing on it and um, it's a well-known stock It's a well-known stock so let's have a look and we can see that the price of Metella increased dramatically it was trading uh, at a let me have a look so here it was trading when gold was creating a bottom it was trading at 242 and it went from 242 all the way over to 17 dollars amazing amazing boom that we're expecting like unbelievable uh, growth that this stock has seen and if it comes back to 530 uh, this is the initial uh, I'm thinking 530 is the first target I'm expecting that it's gonna hit 530 at least it's gonna hit 530 now if it falls 530 then it's gonna go definitely all the way back down to around three dollars so next few weeks next couple of two three weeks are expected to be very very dramatic uh, as far as the gold miners are concerned gold itself is going to hold really good and we can see the strength that's actually the, uh, being shown in the pattern as well but since these stocks they exploded when gold went up from $1100 to $2000 uh, that is the main reason they are coming 
really strong down as well. So as far as uh, Elliott Wave analysis is concerned, I'm considering this price movement as a single zigzag, a correction, uh, a double zigzag, a correction, and a triple zigzag. That's what I'm expecting. Uh, in terms of smaller time frame analysis, uh, I am expecting a bullish move up before we can actually drive further down. Give me a moment. Uh, let me put that to auto. And then we can... Come on. Okay. So, let's have a look here. So, I'm expecting that we're going to see some movement like this. Alright. Uh, which will give us triple tops. We have seen first top, second top, and third top. So, I'm expecting a third top being made around the same level. Uh, and after that, as soon as that is complete, and this can be expected in, let's say, the next week or by the end of this next week and then I'm expecting a strong drop in the price of Matella. Uh, it will go from 950 to the first target that we have mentioned uh, which is right at 530. So this is what I'm expecting and I'm expecting this is going to be happening in short period of time uh, at least this is what that's what the research is indicating and I just wanted to forecast or analyze the market uh, for someone who's actually trading both gold and the gold miners this is going to be very interesting next few days once again if you are holding this is not the time to uh, this is not the time to uh, sell gold this is definitely the time to buy gold if you are interested in gold precious metals uh, gold bullion itself you can uh, wait for two three weeks and you'll be uh, buying at about fifty dollar cheaper or if you can go and you use thinking that maybe the shortage will hit the physical shortage then there will not going to be much difference this weekend is going to be a good uh, buying opportunity right over here you, let's say if it falls uh, 1760 or 1757 there's not quite a much difference but you'll have uh, some uh, definitely a, a confidence that you already have the metal or you already given the order at least um, so we are seeing huge huge premiums in the in the bullion market I'm not interested in bullion myself uh, I have uh, my wife she has invested in a bit a bit in in gold bullion not myself so I'm gonna be mostly uh, gold CFDs and I'm gonna keep a focus on stocks gold miners especially wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye